Is it reported that the world's demand for plastic pipes is projected to rise 5% per annum to over 20 billion meters? A clear grow market, plastic pipes and adducting systems are used for a variety of applications, from chemical plants to winding metal pipes, in the oil and the gas industry, and transporting water and gas in the utilities sector. As good as this grow has proved to be, it has been limited by the challenges and potential negative impacts. The existing joining methods have had in project economics. There are also long-term challenges associated with the reducing leakage and the UK water industry has committed to reduce leaks by the 50% by 2050. A key challenge is to achieve leak-free networks on the very last ultra-low losses. In addition, a target aside, leaks can cause significant environmental damage and prove costly, with the UK alone reporting over 3 billion liters of water being lost each day. With the large pipes and a high pressure, the technical requirements of the production are also much stricter. The plastic beds are used for PE100 resins, imported from the UEA and some Nordic countries, which are resistant to sagging, have high density and a molecular bonding, and have the ability to withstand the pressure inside and outside the plastic pipe, depending on a lot, into European standard technology. Pipes are first and foremost produced through an extrusion process. The raw material is fitted into the extruder via a hopper and a gravimetric and a volumetric control system. Inside the extruder barrel, the material is heated up into the melting point around 200 degrees Celsius by electricity and the friction in the screw system. The melted material is pushed through a cavity called a die head and terrible formed into a pipe. The pipe is then calibrated to a correct size in a vacuum box and thereafter cooled by water in a spray boxes. Extrusion is a continuous process and pipes can in participle reproduced in infinity length. The finished plastic pipe, when running out of the extrusion ring, still retains a lot of heat, so a cooling system is needed to ensure the product cools down, so that the pipe wall does not deform. In addition, the factory is also equipped with a special cutting machine, that is especially machined, ensuring a smooth and a beautiful cut without affecting the pipe wall, even though the pipe thickness can exceed 19 mm.
in the production process. The selection of tube extrusion, mode and adjustment so that is the finished product is not affected by factors that it change the texture as well as appearance and quality is the most important thing. To do so it is necessary to have a supervisor with a high expertise and always put a quality goal on the top. The process described above is the for producing the so-called soil wall, pipes consisting one of the layer of a homogeneous material. Next to the process for solid wall pipes, other variants of production process are used. Example, for structured wall pipes. Structured wall pipes have an optimized design to achieve the physical, mechanical and performance requirements, using less materials at the same. Twin wall is a typical structure for pipe wall construction. Another variant is the so-called co-extruded pipes, where the layers can be made of the different materials. A typically three-layer sewer pipe consists of an outer skin and an inner skin of new material, where the middle layer is a post-consumer recycled material. In this way, the discolorization of the recycled material in the middle layer can be hidden inside the pipe. Multi-layer pipes for plumbing are a construction of PE or PEX with an aluminum layer inside the pipe wall. The aluminum has two purposes, to improve the longitudinal stiffness and to act as an oxygen barrier. The barrier is important in cases where the pipe are used for heating applications. The barrier can also be made with a polymer called EVOA. Pipes can be connected in a variety of ways to form reliable and leak-free pipe system. They can be connected by either welding, a push-fit joint with a rubber seal, or by a solvent cement system. A definition for fusion welding is a generic term for welding process that rely on a melting as a part of the joining materials of similar melting points and composition. Similarly, heat fusion joining for pipes and pipe fitting is a large umbrella term that contains specific procedures and methods such as electrofusion, butt fusion, socket fusion, set of fusion and so forth. There are many different methods for fusion welding plastic pipe and they all have their specific uses. Typically, two plastic parts are welded and are coupled together via heat. Various types of the fusion welding machines are used depending on what process you are attempting to complete. Heating and welding times will vary depending on types of material used. Any of polyethylene pipe will have a different heating time than polypropylene. Size of pipe is also a factor. Fusion welding of pipe is conducted in an application range from small single home plastic pipelines all the way to transnational pipe systems. 